Hi everyone, so how's everyone doing today? So this is going to be a bit more of a like somber type video and if anyone has experienced depression or suicide and they might be triggered by this video then I'm just giving you a bit of a warning that I am going to be talking about those topics and they can be sensitive to some people. So the reason I decided to make this video is because recently there has been um, a tragedy within our own family in terms of someone close to me has decided to take their own life and it is more impacted on me possibly because I'm a counsellor but also because I missed a lot of the signs where I've worked with people within my counselling role um, but I was still surprised um, and unprepared for you know this person close to me deciding on that course of action and I suppose it's just drawn me to consider the amount of people that are walking around with depression, with mental health issues and the increase in um, people making that decision to take their own lives. I've just had a conversation with someone at the local supermarket and he told me that his own sister um, committed suicide last year and that just came out of a discussion we were having about bereavement. Um, and one of the things, interesting things was when the man asked me at the supermarket, are you okay? I said, yeah, I'm fine. And then I said, we always say that, don't we? We always say that we're fine. Um, and I followed that up with, actually, I'm not. I'm currently going through a bereavement. And that led on to that discussion. And how many people say they're okay and say that they're fine when they're not? Because they feel that no one wants to hear how they're really feeling. And so the only option then is for them to either gets professional help which lots of people don't want to do. I know many people who do not want depression or mental health on their medical record so they won't go to see their GP. There are people that will talk to people about um, suicidal thoughts but they'll be thought of as being you know they're joking or they're not serious so no one will take action and I suppose that what I want to say to people is until it happens to you or, or someone in your family or a friend or someone close to you, you probably don't understand the impact of suicide. And I've made videos about this topic. I've even commented when um, Mike T from Love Island, when he took his own life, I've commented on the young boy who, um, what's it called? Something about his debt killed by my debt when he took his life. I made a video about that. And I'm not quite ready to make a video talking about the details of my own personal experience of my um, family member making this decision to take their lives because it's their life and I don't want to put their story out there, but also I'm not ready to talk about that. But I just want to say to people that all the signs, someone can be the happiest person they can have lots of friends, they can be popular, you see them in videos um, and on photos laughing, you'll see them going on holiday, You'll, when you're around them you're seeing them laughing, joking and I for a short moment forgot that this person, didn't forget they had depression, that's naive, I just thought that their depression hadn't overtaken them to that level because the, they were on medication, they seemed down still and they seemed depressed, but I suppose the biggest thing for me was they, I don't know if they felt, because I'm a counsellor, they didn't want to show me that other side of them, that they were down, they didn't want to talk about suicide with me. Um, however, I'm finding out details that they did express suicidal intent to other people. Now, I can't blame another person. If, you, if someone hears someone talk about suicide and they decide not to take action, whether that would be talk to the person, say that they're going to pass it on and whatever. That's not for me to say that that's what you should do. However, I'm. this is my stance before I became a counsellor and it's my stance now. If I was sat in this park right now and someone sat next to me and started talking about suicide or killing themselves, I'm not just going to take it as being, well, that's their problem or I'm not going to talk about, um, um, they're not taking it seriously or it's not about what I think, it's about this is what the person has said. So I don't want to ever be in a position where someone has said that to me, disclosed it to me and I've not done anything about it. Um, and had I known like my family member had intentions to do that, then it's just, I'm not saying I could have stopped it as well. That's the other thing I think at the moment, what I'm probably making another video about this and this is people who have 
survivors um, of people who have committed suicide because it's a different topic altogether. But it's just let's be more open, let's talk about these things, let's talk about when people are that down that they want to kill themselves, let's talk about you know people who are talk, you talk about the different methods they should use and this sort of thing. Let's not be fearful, let's allow those people as well to talk and to express that. But let's not just say to them, well, don't be silly or you're doing it for attention or um, it's your choice and all of this stuff. Um, I do believe strongly that people have a choice. If, if they've made up their mind and it dep the types of methods people are going to use will tell you clearly, if someone is determined to kill themselves and they use certain methods like jumping in front of trains or off buildings or that is different from if they try to like commit suicide sometimes in a, in their home or use pills there is always a possibility that someone will find them but if they go to a secret wood or they do whatever like a lot of these people have done they're saying they don't want to be found they know for a fact no one's going to catch them in time and even if they did it's not going to um, matter because they're, the way that they're using to take their lives is um, final. So I think it's just about having an open conversation. I can't be a counsellor and not discuss these things. I can't pretend that this isn't something that's still going to be painful for me. It's something I've got to deal with. I'm going through the grieving process. I've got to use my um, skills. I've got to use my um, knowledge. And I've got to... Um, Isa, stop! Oh, one, I've got stop! I've got to use my, it's right, little boy was running towards the lake. When I say stop, Lisa, I mean stop. There's a little boy running towards the lake. So, um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say, really. Um, and I hope that people um, find this video of use. Um, obviously, sorry about the interruption, but there was a young little boy running towards the lake, and obviously I had to stop filming. Um, yeah. Let's have more open conversations about this. Let's talk about it. Let's be open. Let's not allow for people to feel they're alone and that they can't talk about um, their feelings and they can't express that they're suicidal. Let's make that open for people to do so that maybe once they've talked about it or talked it through, they'll decide not to go ahead and take their lives. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll be making more videos about this topic soon. Take care and I hope you all have a great afternoon. Bye.